Mm, oh my god. Uh, thanks, Pixie. They just sent me a box of Crosstown Donuts to say thank you for the dimensions in the mail and the times last weekend and the weekend before. So the mister and I just split one. They're quite big, those Crosstown Donuts. We just split one. And it was like a cinnamon bun one. Oh, man, I love a bit of cinnamon bun. How are you all? Uh, yes, the eyelashes are gone. The nails are gone. The grey is still there. I actually am just embracing it. For this morning, I realised... Was it this morning? No, yes, last night. When I cleansed last night, um, I did so with short nails and no lashes for the first time in years and just really went to town. Um, I've got my therapist fingers back. And when people said, oh, you took your nails so low, that's just instinct. If the nails are coming off, they're coming off to therapist length so that I can do this. <laughs> that's attractive, isn't it? Um, I will, I've got, I've got tea, I've got water, I've got, the lighting seems okay. Uh, I'm not wearing any makeup because I thought if I want to play with things, I can show you on my skin. Um, uh, thanks for saying I'm looking cute. I think I still look a bit like a bald rabbit in headlights with the eyes. But uh, I actually, what's really weird is I look like my mum. I caught myself in the mirror and even the kids, the big ones have gone. Mum, you look like Nana. I haven't got any Coke today. Not that kind of Coke. <laughs> know your audience. Coca-Cola. I have tea and I have water. And I've just, as uh, you're just joining us, I just necked half of a Crosstown Donut, which I highly recommend. Um, so I thought I would quickly touch on, after all the questions, the nail situation. Um, it's, hi, Sandra, son of a gun, I found you. How are you? Um, I, I know it's a big compliment. Anytime the people say I look like my mum, I think, thanks, mate, that will do. I'll have that. My favourite tea brand. Well, I drink Clipper decaf and Twinings decaf. I think I've actually moved on to preferring the Clipper decaf these days. But it has to be dark, like mud. None of this pale stuff. Hello, Camilla. Um, okay, so I'll briefly touch on nails. Um, and then we can just go through beauty newness. And I've got, I've got one new thing to show you, because the problem is... <clears throat> I've been sent all this new stuff. My tea is very dark. Uh, I've been sent all this new stuff and half of it I don't know when I can talk to you about, but I know I can talk to you about this and it is fucking lush. So shall I just start with that for something new? This, can you see this people? The Charlotte Tilbury lip oil. I'm obsessed. It's lush. It's not, it's not a um, greasy, oily, wet thing. It's in one of those, literally, like an old-fashioned, almost like a body shop rollerball look. But it doesn't come out too quickly. And you, it's just, it's so lush. I wish I'd put a, an affiliate code on it, but I'm just telling you. If you want something lippy, I've never noticed it's quite holographic. <laughs> um, it is, I don't know what I would say. I hate people who say, oh, yeah, it's approved by whatever. I like it, right? How's that? Um, no, there's no SPF. Lip conditioner by day, lip mask by night. And I've got it in my bag and I just use it all the time. Oh, is it $40? I'm sorry about the dollar conversion. I don't look at that. I'm sorry. I don't look at the dollar conversion. Can you see what I mean? Um, I have tried the serum. I'm playing with it. But I've got to tell you, I've got lots of newness coming up. And I am liking all of it. So... Uh, sorry about that. However, besides this, don't buy anything until Friday. This isn't in the kits. Um, let me quickly show you uh, the nails. Essential oils. Do you know? I don't know. It feels like it's got something in it. Honestly, I'm so I'm so out of practice for like trying to sit here and describe things. I'm just going to have a sip about the tea. Now, you saw that these were, I mean, they were horrific, right? The only reason they didn't look as horrific early on is because they were a nail, like pale, pinky coloured thing and you couldn't see them from far away. Uh, the smell or the taste on the lip oil. Yeah, it's kind of, it's nondescript, but it's pleasant. It tastes like a lip 
oil balm type thing. Um, I will fill you in on the kits later. Just chill. I mean, I'm not going to fill you in, but I can answer a few questions. Just chill your boobs, please. Um, so what you have to do if you are doing taking your nails off, OK, you need a few things. You are going to need some acetone or nail polish remover with acetone in it. You do not want an acetone free nail polish remover because it won't. Yes, I'll save. Don't worry. I always save because it won't work. OK, um, actually, I should have put Hang on, general catch up because otherwise everyone's going to be asking me about the sodding kits all day. Um, get off. Yes, I got that now. You can tell I'm back to my normal techie self, can't you? Pin comment. Oh, so much easier on the iPhone than using that Huawei spy phone or whatever it is. I don't know. Um, you need some of these nail clips. Uh, basically, you're just mimicking what they do in the salon. So you get some of these. And then you put the acetone on cotton wool, wrap it in foil. People will stand outside my house when they know I'm online. And then you clip, you clamp your finger, thumb with it, and you leave it for a good 20 minutes. And that helps it lift off. But depending on what gels you've got, I have painted on gels. We don't do gel powder. Uh, I have, yes, we'll talk about a bit about the kits, but I'm not going to go on about it. Just let me get through the nail bit for the nail people, please. This is the best money you will buy, or something like this. All of this was paid for, by the way. I'm hardly doing a sponsored post for a bottle of acetone, am I? Uh, all from Amazon. You need um, most of the files in this box. <coughs> Excuse me. You need the cotton wool. You can't just use foil. Oh, you mean foil without the clamps? Yes, you can just use, but it's hard because you have to keep the foil quite tight. So what I would do is just do one hand at a time and maybe do this when they're on to keep the pressure on. Um, all of these files you're going to need. You need the small, really rough ones, which are lower in number, like 150, 180. Uh, you need to file them down. So you literally sit there. Yeah, you can use pegs. Mate, whatever works. We're in a pandemic. Get your pegs out the garden. You need to file down, right? You're going to file them. My bunny's very fluffy today, I know. You need to file them and then you need to check them this way. You know how you see nail techs do this? They're checking the curve, right? You need to check. I will show you all again. You need to check that you're filing it evenly here and here as well as down the center. So you need to, I mean, there's nothing there to show you now. God knows why I'm doing that. But you file it down, you go all over. I mean, I got quite carried away. Look, my two middle fingers have got tiny little abrasions there where I was like, get off. Um, and then you soak, right? So when you've soaked, you 10, 20 minutes, the way I showed you, the way you basically you copy whatever you see your nail tech doing when they're in front of you. OK, just be careful when you're picking. Don't be, pick gently. Right. Once you've taken them off, if you can see gaps, then, you know, you've kind of penetrated, as it were. Then you get to your tools or depending on what you've got, you could use if you're desperate, like slanted tweezers just to try and get in and off. I like my I call it my long pokey stick from Navy, Navy Pro Tools. Um, they're on here somewhere. Uh, I use this pointy stick to get kind of into, and then it just sort of slowly lifts. Um, and then once they're off, no, they're not, when they're, when they're off, they're not ruined. That's when you just go to town. Um, so then you change the file and you buff gently until you've got off. Oh, mate, I'm not gonna tell anyone how to do their gels. I'm just telling them how to take them off. Even I am not going to attempt to do them myself. No chance. Um, thank you, nail techs. Uh, and then you're going to buff them down. And then you finish with the shiner, which you will see. I love a buff, right? So you buff with this and then you shine with that. Look at that shiner. Uh, this one's called Teen... Teen Itor or Teen Itor. I don't know, search something like, um, yeah, it takes patience. I spent a good couple of hours getting those things off. Um, search on Amazon for something like uh, nail gel file kit, something like that. You One file is not going to do it. Yeah, don't buff too much. Don't buff too much because then they get, you go too, I, I buff too much on this. So 
If you see my ring finger there, it's like a bit of a shadow. I had to take it off because I could tell underneath I was gonna get a fungus. And what happens is when the nails start to lift, water gets trapped and it becomes moist. And that's not what you want. So I had to take them off and then file down gently. Oh, Martha, Ethel and Doris are great for Navy. Oh, I see what you're doing. That's Martha. Is Martha the long pokey stick? I love that. Um, and then you kind of buff. Now, when you've buffed and they're shiny, don't attempt to go hard at your cuticles. That is the biggest mistake you can make. There is a reason you see nail techs and I do it on the kids or on Ava or on Jim. They hold it a different way. If, when I see people doing this and they're like, I might not stop, stop. Okay, so there's no updates in the kit yet. Calm down. Um, this is, look how much I've used. That was much, had much more in it yesterday. Um, you are going to nail oil. I mean, I do it constantly. And also worth pointing out that I did it constantly uh, from the minute lockdown happened because I was always washing my hands. So when people say, oh, do I do my, do I oil my nails once a day? No, you oil your nails, nails. You oil your nails more than once a day. Um, and you should be adding moisturizer and moisture to your skin once a day too. Exactly. There is no such thing as too much oil on the nails. Um, the oil is daddy oil. Looks like that. All available on Amazon. Hang on. Like that. Although there's plenty of other oils. Uh, yes, the oil will stop you getting peely bits. I like it. <laughs> Navy cuticle balm. I haven't, I haven't had. Um, so they do things. They do other things. They've got skizzers, tweezers. Um, but my most two used tools um, are the cuticle remover and the long pointy stick, which I believe is now called Martha. Um, you... How do you use your nails? Oh, it soaks into your nails. I mean, look, it, it soaks in, especially the cuticle and everything around, as in seconds, especially when you are washing your hands so much, okay? Um, it's called Daddy Oil. It'll all be listed, and I'll save this. Um, but, yeah, that's great. And then, once they've done all that, and blah, 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 then you put some Nail Envy on, or something similar. OPI, Nail Envy, Original Nail Strengthener. Everyone has a favourite. Uh, I use this one. You coat it, it just gives them like a sort of a little shine. And yeah, there's a bit of weakness. I mean, the nail beds are fine. There's a bit of weakness in my nails from here because I've had gels on, not acrylic, not fake nails, but I've had like gel polish painted on um, and then my hands under a light for years, years and years. So um, of course there's going to be some damage underneath. Yeah, use argan oil if you have it, by all means. Get, get your oil just woken up from a snooze snooze you lose squealer snaps um no nail envy yes lots of people about nail envy i like it good okay um so yeah opi nail envy the daddy oil all on amazon or somewhere else i'm sure places like look fantastic feel unique essential all those kind of places uh will all have it nurse oh hang on i want to get that nurse i'm a nurse i can't wear nails but i'm always picking the skin around my nails sometimes they bleed right you'd be able to use this because all it looks like is that it's just like a barrier. Buff them, put this on and keep your oil. And every time you go for either a wee, which in my case would be twice an hour with the amount of tea. Every time you go to the loo or you get an opportunity, put nail oil on. While we're in lockdown, I keep repeating myself because people think I'm joking. But while we're in lockdown, I could easily do this. And then I'm going to apply this cream off camera because it's one of the embargoed ones. But this... Oh. like three four times a day uh, it feels good I'm older I need it my skin's drying out because I have heating on plus I have the windows open so it goes from like yesterday it was sunny and I was in the garden for like half an hour move suddenly I'm Percy thrower showing my age but moving plants around the garden and sweeping um but caught the sun for a bit I could feel I was like oh god I better get in um so your skin is just really challenged and I haven't gone down the spotty road in lockdown. I've gone down the dry road. So the minute, every time I wash my hands, I have a hand cream above the sink. I wash my hands. I do a tiny bit of hand cream, a tiny bit of nail oil in the hand cream mixed and I go all over. OPI I do a matte version too. Yeah, I don't like the matte version. I like a bit of a, um, oh God, if your nails have ridges, 
you can look into the health aspect of all of that. Don't believe too much of it. If you Google the wrong thing, you'll have a, it'll tell you you're having a heart attack and dying. You're not. But yeah, buffing is great for ridges. Um, start with, you don't need really rough. That, that file set. Uh, how many's in here? How many's in here? The six in here. I reckon the first three you don't need to touch if you don't have gels or acrylics on. If you do, then you can work your way down. So basically, you don't go hard on your natural nail with the rough buffer. See what I mean? You want to keep it like, you want the big fat ones. These are for you if you have natural nails. And these are for you, in the, in the case of this kit anyway, these are for you if you have gels or acrylics on. Get And it's super cheap. I have this kit because Mercedes, my nail tech, had the audacity of taking a holiday last year. And I was like, mate, my, I can't, I'm totally addicted to this, can you tell? And I just wiped it off and I was doing the moisturiser, but I don't even care. I was like, mate, my nails are going to come off, so I'm just going to get myself stopped up. And it's last, it'll last me forever. I mean, let's face it, acetone ain't going anywhere, is it? Your job is going to be finding some of this because the minute everyone went into lockdown, within a week, Amazon in particular was sold out of all nail stuff. So was all the supermarkets. I tried to get my mum some nail polish remover on Sainsbury's. No joy. Not that it's an essential, but you know, needs must. Are we okay with nails? It was just a brick, just a brick, just a quick, you know, this is kind of how you do it. Um, oh my God, there's so many questions. I'm so sorry. Um, lash, anything to help grow natural lashes? Well, um, I am coming back. Hi. <laughs> um, I have, now these are old. I probably shouldn't even be using them, but I've had them for ages. What does it say? Oh no, that's really old. I'm not even going to show you that one. Um, rapid lash. So there's this, and then I've got the Peptolash 2 from Indeed Labs, but I broke this. <laughs> Look, I pulled the, the DB bots it out. So now what I have to do is twist, I don't know if you saw that, but twist it from the bottom, turn it upside down, get the liquid onto my hand instead, <laughs> and then rub it on my... I'm, I don't throw things out, people. I don't throw things out. The book on the bed is my book. Obviously, I have it to hand. Um... So yeah, that's what I do with that because I broke the nib. And then this one is a brush and you just paint it on. So you literally paint it on. I should probably not be doing this. If I told you the date on this, you would all think I was a dirty... I mean, to be fair, I hadn't opened it until recently. So, uh, But yeah, Rapid Lash, there's Revita Lash, anything like that. I know the old, old wife's tale about castor oil, but I haven't tried that, so I couldn't tell you. Oh, Latisse. Is Monty on the bed? Uh, Penny's on the bed. The black thing on the bed is my husband's uh, tracksuit pants. Um, and yes, the book is on the bed. The book and my donut plate. Um, NYK Lash Growth Serum is the best. Okay. Products to help brows grow. You can brush the um, same thing. Oh, I know the date on the lash isn't the out of date, but trust me. That thing needs to go in the bin. Um, Talika. Yes, Talika is a great brand for lashes. Uh, is it really bad to keep skincare stuff after the date? I don't get through it quick enough. Only if you have opened it and it doesn't have any preservatives, like a really, I should cross myself, a really green product. Um, I would be careful. I mean, the joy of that, that is they usually throw essential oils into it and as soon as they're off, they smell and it turns. You don't want that. Uh, the book was supposed to be out on Thursday. It's now out at the end of June because we simply cannot get the book into retailers. Oh, it's faded. It's a good Bond film. Um, okay, what else? Some of, have you read Kate Somerville's book? Of course, I love Kate Somerville's book. Um, should you store skincare in the bedroom or bathroom? I only keep like the odd cleanser in the bathroom that I've used and haven't bothered to put back. My cleansers are outside the bathroom on a shelf and all my skincare is here in the bedroom. Um, cannot wait for Friday. I know my headache is good. Thank you. I think my headache was looped in with, um, apologies if it's TMI, but was looped in with like a phantom time of the month type thing because I am perimenopausal, don't get them a lot. And I had horrific headache, bright red cheeks and a temperature. At one point I was like, oh my God, I'm getting sick. But then I woke up and my skin looked really good and I was like, oh. It's a period that you're not going to get. I don't know about you. Day one, I was always like, looked like I had just been dragged through a hedge backwards. Um, 
But day two of my period, my skin would glow. And I was like, oh, okay, that's what this is. My skin is glowing, I've got a headache and I've got a temperature. That's what it is. But yes, now I'm fine. Uh, do I think the Delicate range will be good for Tret users? 100%. Um, oh my God, there are so many questions, I'm sorry. Um, I might just scroll to the bottom and then work my way back up. Where is the box laughing, please? Uh, the box is in the warehouse. The kit is in the warehouse. Um, oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm quite excited about the response to the kits. I was a little worried, I've got to say, because I'm very aware of the time of year. And I will go into full detail when I film the videos. Um, we talk about keeping it fine. I'm going to put another hint up after this live, but talk about cutting it fine. One of the products for one of the kits only arrived in the warehouse yesterday. I nearly took up drinking again. Mm. Oh my God, I love a cup of tea. I'm sorry. If that happens to you, you're the same age. Yeah, I know. It's that menopausal thing. I will do something on menopause and perimenopause, by the way, because I'm still messaged so often by women who are being completely fobbed off. And it is unacceptable. It is unacceptable. Sorry. Uh, what shampoo do you recommend for teenage greasy hair? I give Max Sam Farmers and he likes using head and shoulders know why I as long as he's going to wash he can use what he wants I'm not interfering do you know what I mean um tret is tretinoin which is vitamin a prescription strength vitamin a um how long does it take to get rid of periol dermatitis takes a while change your toothpaste make sure your toothpaste doesn't have any sodium lauryl sulfate in it it's in nearly every single toothpaste on the market except for things like sensodyne some of the sensodyne the I think the sensodyne whitening one or original one still has SLS in it. So change your toothpaste. Don't use any actives around the area. Keep it well oiled. Works for me. I would hope it would work for you. Um, we're talking about perioral dermatitis, which is basically when you're red and have a rash all around here. Um, keep it well oiled. Keep it hydrated and moisturised. And then, will it be easy to tell which kit you should get? Uh, yes, but I'm just going to put it out there. You're going to want both. I mean, I don't do things by half, people. You should be used to this by now. Um, but you are going to want both. I'm not for a second suggesting you buy both. I'm just saying that you could use both. Sorry. Um, hi, Hirons. Hello. Totally agree on the perimenopause, menopause. Yeah, it's a, it's a joke. It's an absolute nightmare. Can I use Tanlux Hyaluronic Serum the same night as retinol? Yeah, but you do your retinol first. Um, leave it for like 20 minutes, half an hour, and then you can come back into your bedroom and apply your doobie what's it. Look at that. Uh, that would be tragic if I was pale as well as grey and lashless and nailless. Do you know what I mean? Oh. And a moisturiser on top. Uh, I use Sensodyne toothpaste because um, it's uh, SLS free, but I still can never remember which one it is, so you will always find me checking the labels. Uh, Sensodyne and Pronamel. You know the Pronamel, it's like a tool. They're not cheap, so I always wait. When they're on offer, I buy like five tubes because they're like five pounds each and it's extortionate in the USA. I went to buy a tube of Sensodyne when we were in New York and I went to gym, but yeah, it's $15, something like that. So just check the toothpaste. You can sometimes get a, an SLS free toothpaste in the natural section, but then you need to be careful because you need your fluoride. So um, just be careful. Is Klarna or similar going to be a payment option? The launch of the kits is like Oprah's favourite things. You could not have said something more sexual to me if you tried. <laughs> um, Tellurian face mist sold out everywhere. Yeah, sorry about that. Try this one. This is amazing. Um, Dr. Jart, uh, Cult Beauty Sell It, which you got, you lot told me. I didn't even know it was here. I bought this in the States. Psychopair, Dr. Jart, Tiger Grass Calming Mist. You don't need this in full disclosure. You don't need this unless you are older, drier, uh, a bit a bit red, if you have rosacea, if you've been out in the sun too much, it's amazing. That one. Love it. Uh, I paid for it. Thanks. Um, tan looks good for a pale skin. Yes, it just gives you like a mild glow and then you can build it up. Um, oh, you've been set up with the winter kit. Yeah, I know. And the space and cake kit. Sorry about that, guys. Do the kit suit any age? Yes, I have given some... Um, I, I want to discuss it all when we do a kit video, but I have uh, given very careful 
thought processes to how we split the kits. There wasn't always going to be two kits. But long story short, I can tell you this much. We made two kits because the last kit was so successful. We had people lined up for this kit. And then the last kit was so successful that the people who were in last kit also wanted to be in this kit. So we have two kits. Um, and I'm very excited for you. If it was me, I'd be very excited. Um, what I can tell you is that they everything in the kits is cruelty free. They are like, I need to do the count. I'll give you an exact percentage when I film the video, which, but I think it's around 80 to 90% vegan. They're not wholly vegan, but where they're not vegan, it's things like beeswax, where it's in something. Um, all suitable for pregnancy and breastfeeding. Everything you need to know. It's not a Space NK kit. It's my kit. And I do boxes with Space NK. I do kits for me. Um... Oh yeah, my nighttime routine. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow. Should I do that tomorrow? Uh, yes, the kits will ship to Canada. Uh, we, um, yes, the kits will ship to the USA. We have, um, what I will say is, and again, this will all be when I do the proper video. We have a much longer, we can't post to you list because of COVID-19. So major countries will be fine. But I know for a fact, uh, there are certain countries that were fine to ship to last time that we can't ship to this time, but the list will all be there. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, can you settle a debate? Should you moisturise your fanny when doing your body moisturisers? Um, well, I can't speak for all of us, but I don't. I mean, I kind of, I do my top to toe. So I go feet, I'm gonna be really careful how far I go here, up the legs, up the back of the legs, arms, boobs, stomach, and then I go like down in a thigh and up. And then I suppose I go like from bikini line up because I kind of do that. I mean, I'm not sure I would advise sticking a body lotion directly in the area is probably the best way of putting it. Um, do I, th okay, a few questions. So I'll do a kit Q and A probably Thursday night and I will definitely go live when the kits go on sale on Friday to just answer your constant questions, okay? And there will be videos. I will do a video uh, one standalone video for YouTube that I'll also put on the blog and then I'll do a couple of um, how to use the kits maybe Friday night Saturday night I'm still working out the timetable but you'll have loads loads of time yeah never there I know don't really don't stick things in your fluff that don't belong there um your skin is feeling dehydrated tight and you've broken out on your chin any suggestions um yes watch the lockdown skin video that I did last week and wait for Friday <laughs> um but yeah i'll give you as much info as i can when we uh, yeah i will i'm sorry about that with the subtitles on youtube i will try and figure out how to do that i also have to remember to try and do do that when i'm doing my insta stories i don't do it on purpose it's not it's that i don't know how to do it on youtube but i will absolutely work it out before then i promise and um i will try and slow down when i'm doing stories and do the captions too. I'm apologetic, I'm sorry. Um, you bought the Zellens Power D, can you advise how to use it? Yeah, the Zellens Power D is um, a no-brainer. You just wash and cleanse your face, use nasty if you want to. If your skin is really um, uh, sensitive, you wouldn't use nasty and you just put the oil on. It's not gonna be a midnight situation, mate. I'm not staying up at midnight, relax. <laughs> Um, I will be awake when the kits go on sale. Um, did I just get distracted again? You look really bad. Oh yeah, Power D. Thanks. Um, but you can use it over anything, under anything. I do have Hello Magazine. I might do that tomorrow. Yes, you can use Pixie Retinol Tonic when you were pregnant. Do you get a penny in the kits? No. Uh, any of Europe on the no ship list? I know that Turkey is on the no ship list, which is technically not Europe, but the continent-ish that way. Um... It's an excessive no ship list, but it's a lot of um, like really far away, like things like the Maldives. Do you see what I mean? It's not things like Canada, USA, Australia. So what time do I wake up? I am not getting up at 4 a.m. Relax. <laughs> mm. I've still got the empties video to do. Um, we've just been so busy behind the scenes trying to sort everything out for Friday um, that the empties video is just getting bigger, which is weirdly what it's getting bigger with is hair products. Um, because I'm using, I'm doing constant buns. I'm bunning. <laughs> uh, 
And so it's things that I've run out of, like this morning. Oh, I'm back. Uh, I tried to get something out of these two and they're both dead. So these will be going in my empties kit. Beach Waves, Mark Anthony, both American and Sun Bum Styling Cream. Oh, the thing they have in common is that they both smell bloody lovely of coconut. Oh, I love a bit of coconut. Oh, bliss. Um, and that's it, folks. Um, any other quick, like, last five questions? Hit me with it. Um... Okay. Um, have a meeting at 11 a.m. but it's then. It, I doubt it'll be that early. Don't worry. Okay. Any use in rinsing face with cold water after you've washed your cleanser off? I wouldn't know. Um, the kits will be on sale via my website. Worry ye not. Super goop SPF any good? Yes. Best eye cream for anti-aging? Well, there's a lot of anti-aging. It depends what you mean. Do you mean lines? Do you mean dark circles? Do you mean to prevent anti-aging or you already have lines? If you already have lines, you can use something fairly, that's sort of fairly th thicker, like Zellens, Kate Somerville, the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Eye Cream is fine because it's richer. Um, if you are prone to be puffy, I would uh, err on the side of caution and go for gels, lighter lotions. Flannel versus muslin cloth, you shit stirrer. I like a flannel. Muslin cloths don't hold the heat for long enough. They're wispy and they, they sort of fly away. You can't wring them out properly. So when you pick them up, it all drips down your hands. I don't like a muslin cloth and I don't care what Yves Lom and Lizelle say. Um, I like a flannel. Um, facial hair. Are you telling me I have facial hair or asking me a question? Uh, limit to number of kits we can buy. Uh, no but you can only buy one at a time because of COVID-19 and I will explain all of that, if that's okay, later in the week. Uh, you're on Dermatica for acne. Uh, I'm on Dermatica for old lady. Am I going to be able to use everything in the kit? Yes. Um, is flannel cotton? Yes, Sandra, a flannel is a, a washcloth, a face cloth in the USA. For about the first four or five years of the blog, every time I mentioned flannel, people thought I was talking about a Brian Adams shirt in a rock video. I mean a face cloth, a wash cloth. Um, are there kits with different types of skins? I will explain all, I promise. We've done the nail tutorial, Tanya, so you'll have to watch it when it goes up in about half an hour. Uh, yes, the kit is safe for pregnancy. Uh, how to use copper peptides in your routine. You cleanse, you put your copper peptides on, you leave it a couple of minutes or however long that particular brand says, and then you crack on with the rest of your routine. Uh, must buy products for perioral dermatitis. There's not a lot. To, to buy for it's what you avoid you avoid sodium lauryl sulfate so you make sure you're not cleansing with anything too foamy um like i said before you check your toothpaste and when i've got it i just keep it oiled and i take antihistamines to take the redness and the heat down uh you can't buy both kits at once it is not physically possible but we have made a lot of kits um last time we sold out in like 12 hours but the bulk of them and that's because we put a halt on it the bulk of them had gone in two or three hours. So we've made lots. Please don't worry. Um, if there's any left over, you're gonna have to buy them just so that I don't go broke. <laughs> um, yeah, I wouldn't worry too much about perioral dermatitis uh, in terms of buying product for it. It's more what you don't use on it, if that makes sense. Um, Pixie Retinol, good to start to introduce retinol. It's really, really mild. You can use Pixie Retinol while you're using any other retinol. So, I mean, it's like a baby step. It's super, super mild. So I would say it's not even a starter retinol. It's like an add-on. That's how I would say it anyway. Uh, you're on Duac. Will you be able to use stuff in the kit? Yes. Is it safe if you're not pregnant? <laughs> I love you, Sandra. I love you. Yes, the kit is safe for you if you are not with child. Uh, I'm not on this morning this week. Uh, I was going to be on tomorrow, but I had to reschedule because believe it or not, I'm on 3G at, by the 4G by the skin of my teeth. Our Wi-Fi is like, and I can't risk being on TV and it going off. Like, you know, when I had all the dramas last week, um, I've got official Wi-Fi people coming out to fix it. So I just can't risk. Imagine I'm on with Holly and Phil and it keeps going gone. And they're like, oh, where is she? Mortifying. I'll do it when it's. And also, let's be honest, I've got a lot going on with the kits. So maybe once the kits are done and dusted and our Wi-Fi is fixed and everything. Um, but I saw, what's his name? John, what's his face? The chef, his tea towel went on fire, didn't it? <laughs> uh, 
Um, I don't know what the few is. Sorry. Oh, the Dr. Jart skin mist is sold out too. Oh, no. Sorry, folks. I have to say, though, it would be easy for me to sit here and big myself up. It's not because of me. It's because brand, uh, retailers are having a hard time getting stock in. So I could sit here and go, oh, yeah, I've made them all sell out. That might be true to a, a little degree. But um, in general, it's because it's hard to get the stock because uh, it's not a priority. So, for example, things like Boots.com, quite rightly, they're prioritising pharmacy. So it's hard. There's a lot of things out of stock online at the moment. Um, because once people got over the initial, oh, I'm not going to buy anything online and then realised we were going to be here for months and started shopping online, everything started selling out. So I'm sure they'll be back in. Just email them and go like, give me it. Um, I'm trying to think of any other really immediate. Oh, Pixie's mists are probably in stock. The Pixie mists are probably in stock. So you could try those. The hydrating milky mist, the white one. I don't have that here because it's where I do my makeup. I've only got the glow mist and the rose glow mist. Um, can you use the kit with tretinoin? Yes, you can. I don't know what the Imagine is for. What's for dinner tonight? I believe dinner tonight is a steak. I don't believe Mr. Hirons is aware that he is cooking it. Um, are both the kits to use all together? So if I bought both, savages, I love it. Can I use all the products in there together? Uh, yes. Uh, the kits are aged at anyone with skin. Uh, oh, try ASOS. There you go. Try ASOS for, um... The doctor chart. Thanks, people. Um, how do I start to pick what products are in the kits? Well, very good question. I think about a brand that I like. I think about a product I like. I try and do everything based on the on the theory of it's a desert island product. Um, I then think I do. We do a list in the office, and then I think how do we. Um, put this together would it sit with a product from this brand should I mix something that's here with something that's here would they sit together blah 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 um and then it starts from there and then I call the brands and with the winter kit I was like right I've got this idea for a kit um ASOS are bad to the warehouse workers oh sorry yeah uh, I can categorically say that cult beauty and space aren't they are on strict um separation and they're on like teams are working alternate shifts and things like that. So um, <clears throat> talking about how I pick things. So I think, what would I like? <laughs> I mean, let's face it, I'm a selfish bitch. Uh, what would I like? What do I like from that brand? Uh, do I like that brand? Because what happened was after the last kit, we had loads of brands contacting us saying, how much do we have to pay to be on your kit? And I was like, that's not how it works, mate. Um, it's like the Hall of Fame on the blog. On the blog. It's like invite only. Um so, oh, so are Amazon and they are always being recommended. You guys have that political argument when I'm not discussing my kits, okay? Is the kit a full skincare routine? Obviously, not my first rodeo. Uh, is the kit safe for someone who doesn't want to be pregnant? Yes, I think you and Sandra could have a nice chat afterwards. Um, literally have matching messy buns. This, I'll have you know that this bun is a work of art. There is nothing messy about it. How dare, very dare you. Um... Oh, oh, here come all the questions. So yeah, I pick what I want. I then, with these ones, I called the brands and some brands after the winter kit called me and said, we would offer, we would like to offer you boom for this, boom for this, boom for this and boom for this. Because there was going to be a summer kit. Now I think it's um, highly unlikely there will be. Hello, Christopher. My brother is on here. Um, I think it's unlikely that there will be because the summer kit was going to be, obviously... <laughs> a really cool airplane travel bag type thing, like a slightly different take and everything was going to be 100 mil, but who's going to be going on holiday? And I don't want to be completely insensitive to the fact that who can afford to go on holiday this year? Do you see what I mean? Um, but, and it's a big but, if these sell out really well and we'll be like, oh my God, okay, I underestimated that. And you guys are like, yeah, give us another one. Then maybe we'll do a summer one. But I'll definitely at least do an autumn winter one. At least. Um, am I shipping to Sweden? To my knowledge, yes. Please do a minis kit. You savages. I shouldn't have said anything, should I? Um, they are, both kits will be significantly less expensive than the last kit and under £200. Pounds. Um, Kathleen Baird Murray. Hello, Kathleen. Uh, then the Queen gets us a deal. You lot are mental. I mean, I'm here for it, 
but you are mental. Uh, my sweatshirt is just a Lakers sweatshirt. I'm not going to lie. I bought it in LA airport because it reminded me of the chili peppers. <laughs> and it's actually one of the comfiest sweatshirts I own. It's just a Lakers official sweatshirt. Ow, what done to my elbow? Ow. Um, oh, the travel kit would be fab even if staying at home, right? If any of my team are watching this, we better get planning the travel kit then. Yes, please, Minnie's kit. You lot are mental. Summer kit, hell yes. Okay, then. That's that decided. You watch them all messaging me now. They're going to start WhatsApping me going, why did you say that? Give us a break. Uh, yes, woo Lakers. Um, Dr. Jart, what was the cream? Missed. Oh, it's this one. And they've all been on the list before. It's the Psychopair. Tiger Grass Calming Mist. It's lush. Uh, do I like Skin Nerd products? Yes. Bob just walked in and said hi. Hi, Bob. Everyone say hi to Sandra's husband, Bob. Those two flew um, a Spitfire over the White Cliffs of Dover, as you do, right? I know, what do I expect? Why did I even mention a travel kit? What have I done to myself? Um, still, keeps us busy, I suppose. Um, have you, but by the way, I don't make any, I don't cast any aspersions on what any of you do for a living, right? I know some of you are in the medical profession because I get those emails saying my skin's falling off, blah, blah, blah. Um, some of you are literally working from home some of you are furloughed but in general I think most people are working do you keep getting emails saying while well, you've got nothing on why don't you do this I'm like who has nothing on I've never been so busy the difference is I'm busy at home isn't that random what do you think of the new Kate Somerville moisturizer I guess you'll find out won't you um do I need help with the website message no oh on that note um if you are oh you're a teacher god bless you my friend there are some people right i'm going to slightly divert there are some people you know the certain religious groups think that only a certain amount of people make it to heaven i'm not talking about me i'm just merely having a discussion they think that only a certain amount of people make it to heaven i promise you now teachers go to heaven the nice ones the evil teachers don't they get sent to meet me in the afterlife but teachers mate you've you're, you're, you're green lighted straight into heaven because i could not do it i'm sorry I see you and I think, mate, if you spoke to me like that, I'd knock you into next week, as my granddad used to say. <laughs> but you can't even say that in a joke, can you? You can't even say that. I shut your neck. You couldn't even say shut your neck. I couldn't do it. Missing your class. I know. I, is there anything better than a good teacher, though? You know when your kids get a good teacher and you think, oh, thank God. And then they get pregnant and leave. And I know not all good teachers are men, but they're predominantly women. My kids have been. Oh, I would get sued in any job I did. That's why I work for myself, mate. I said on, um, hang on, my, this is going to sound weird, but my water is leaking. It's fresh out the fridge and it's going to drip everywhere. And yes, I refill it. Don't start with me. Oh, and a paramedic. Oh, paramedics, you're straight to heaven. You're all straight to heaven. Um, oh, eight years practitioner, but on furlough, doing my college courses to get qualified. Oh, well done. Um, yeah, Pfft, teachers, come on. Oh, you teach 16 to 18 years old. So there's teachers who make it to heaven and then there's teachers of teenagers. Please, shut your neck. Yeah, that's a very um, northern colloquialism. Oh, shut your neck. Yeah, shut your neck. No, that was going to say, I'm sorry, I'm diverting. If you um, cannot sign up for the newsletter, it probably means you've already signed up and the system is just overwhelmed. We've had thousands of people join the newsletter this week. Um... So uh, I think it just means, I think it just means, and my tech guy assures me, it just means that you are signed up. Please don't panic. And you can always test it by putting in a, a another email address. Most people have more than one. Test it with another one and see what it says. Um, teacher here, we're allowed to have children. You mean you're allowed to teach while you're children or have your own children? I would hope teachers can have children. <laughs> um Customer scrutiny officer. I don't know what that is either. I could do that job. I could do that job. Do you watch people when you're walking around? I do. You're a pharmacy store manager. It's been hell. Very rude people. Oh, I can only imagine. I did retail when retail was almost like it was just like a, it was a respected profession and people were polite and, you know, and then you'd get the odd one and you think, I'm sorry, I must. I'm very confused. You can't possibly be talking to me like that. Yeah, I know. So you have my absolute... Oh, look fantastic. Have the Dr. Jart missed. Thank you. 
Um, no, you don't need the newsletter to buy the kit. It's just loads of people have been asking me how they sign up. So um, let's just finish off with how you sign up and things like that. Um, yeah, you're a hairdresser, mate. You better relax because I'm promising you that the second it's eased, I've already got everyone lined up. I'm like, I want you at midnight. I'm going to see you at 1 a.m. and I'm going to drive to you at 2 a.m. I'm there. Uh, I have made lots of kits, okay? Um, oh, pastoral admin staff at school, massively underpaid. Oh, 100%. Let's face it, everyone who does anything of value, I think, is underpaid. And I'm not brown nosing here. I mean, teachers, paramedics and nurses, 23, 24K starting, come on. And is it any wonder we lose people to the private sector? No. Um, I do check my Instagram DMs, but I have to tell you, there are thousands in there. And it's just luck of the draw if, if Instagram happens to put you in the algorithm at the top and I happen to see it and it doesn't start with best, blah, 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 and you're not shouting at me, then I'll probably have a look. And yes, you can sign up for the kit. Um, we will... Uh, the newsletter is just so that to make sure you get something into your inbox that gives you it straight away and what it is. It'll be newsletter, the freaks group, the blog and the YouTube video will go up at the same time and Instagram. So it's it's usually uh, the newsletter sends, I send the link into the freaks group and then it goes live. Um, and it's all within like 10, 15 minutes of each other. So it's I wouldn't panic. The odd one has become the norm. I manage a restaurant. Yeah, I would I would kick off. I have thrown people out of my store before because they were rude to my staff. Mm, sorry. You can have freedom of speech, but what you cannot have is freedom of consequences for that speech. Um, I will kick your ass if I see you being rude to people, especially in the supermarkets at the moment. Come on. Yeah, your paramedic boyfriend is underpaid. Totally. You're a teacher and you're underpaid. 100% you're underpaid. If I was in the government, it would be at least doubled. Trust me. Um, okay, uh, I'm a dentist, life is mental. Oh my God, but are you working? My husband, everyone in my family needs their teeth seen too and we can't. So is that water on the wine? Yeah, I'm not drinking. There is no flannel in the kit. <laughs> um, uh, my views about Glossier vitamin C. I love a bit of Glossier. I think it's hugely underrated. Just putting that out there. Uh, if you want to change the structure of your skin, you're going to need something more hard hitting. But for what it is and the money, there is more actives and hyaluronic and nice ingredients in some Glossier products than there is in some £200 serums. And we all know who I'm talking about. Um, OK, so, yeah, basically, I would just be signed up, be in the Freaks group and be keep an eye on my social. Uh, it'll all happen within like 10, 15 minutes. Um, and then I will give you uh, a running uh, info of how it's going to work and how we're going to do it. OK, we haven't released the times. We haven't released the kit. You haven't missed anything. Don't worry. Um, I couldn't be president or PM because I would headbutt people. And also, let's just have a quick rant before I get thrown offline. Right. Why can't any of them? And this is across the floor. Why can't any of them answer a question straight? If you ask me a question, I will give you an answer. What I won't do is go, now let me be completely clear, because you know the next thing they're going to say is a lie, no? Yes. I've only touched on the surface of why you're quitting teaching. Oh, no, don't quit. Go to the private sector. <laughs> I shouldn't say that, but do. They pay better and the kids are, well, at least you've got people you can shout at, I don't know. Uh, the Freaks group is called Caroline Hirons Skincare Freaks. On Facebook. They name themselves. Please don't think I'm being rude. They are freaks. Um, please don't leave. They are politicians. I know. That's why I couldn't do it. I couldn't because I'm not a politician. In case that isn't clear. You ask me a question, I'm going to tell you. You know, do you think that so-and-so should be booted out if he's racist? Yes. <laughs> do you think such and such is anti-Semitic? Yes. Do you think we should have had the country on lockdown two weeks before? Absolutely. Why don't they just, wouldn't it be amazing if one of them stood, I'm talking about the UK, if one of them stood at that box and said, and I won't say it because I know there's children around, and said, guys, we should have shut down two weeks ago, we f***ed up. Wouldn't that be amazing? I would be like, oh, finally, take some responsibility. No one takes responsibility. No one says, my bad, my bad. That's all you got to do. My bad, I'll fix it. Because the other problem is, I know I'm ranting now, but hey, I've got 10 minutes and I've got to go make my tea. Um, but the other problem is, they, when they do say, 
I messed up or I could have done this better. They get the cancel culture and everyone's like, get them out. Everyone makes mistakes. I'm not talking about being caught in a field shagging a sheep. <laughs> I'm talking about, you know, but some, wouldn't it be nice if someone took responsibility? So we could go, who's in charge, right? When Boris was in hospital, who's in charge? Well, it could be him, could be Dominic, could be him. Could be Matt Hancock. Well, technically it's him. It could be Michael Gove, but really. There is a reason. There is a reason that the best response to COVID-19 is in countries, and this is fact, is in countries run by women. Don't care if that sounds sexist. It is a bit sexist, but you bought it on yourselves, chaps. Take responsibility. Um, okay. I'm going to go and tell Jim that he's cooking dinner. <laughs> Um, I will. Yeah, they need to stop treating us like children. Exactly. Um, I will do my, I can do a nighttime routine tomorrow, but I won't be wearing any makeup. So I'll have to pretend. But really, it's just me showing you what I use and how I do it. So we can still do that if you want. Um, and then Thursday, wait, it is Tuesday, isn't it? Yeah. Nighttime routine tomorrow. And then Thursday, we'll go over the kit in sort of not 100 percent. we'll do like 50 percent info on the kits how's that uh, i'm glad you're all in agreement because honestly if i can't watch question time i can't watch anything i can't watch andrew marr jim watches all of it i can't watch it because i just get the rage as soon as they start to speak it's bullshit as soon as they open their mouths all of them all of them doesn't matter where you vote all of them they open their mouth and they say could you just answer the question and they go now let me be perfectly clear the minute you say, let me be perfectly clear, we know nothing you say is going to be clear. <laughs> um, so, yeah, nighttime routine tomorrow. Uh, yeah, don't watch the news. Watch the whatever your local government has as a update. Watch your government update and watch and follow the World Health Organization. And that's I, I have gained no extra info from reading, watching the news and reading the news, just no. Because um, it's all speculation, because they don't know. Wouldn't it be great if the news said, here's some nice pictures of things that happened that were nice today, because we don't know what's going to happen with COVID-19, so we're not going to fill it with a load of crap content. Wouldn't that be nice? You could go, oh, show me nice things. I want to see the new lambs. I want to see a baby who can hear for the first time. Wouldn't that be nice? Anyway... Hiron for PM. That rant was amazing, mate. I'm not even started, but yeah. Um, I'm not going to do a quick kit reveal on Thursday. I will do hints and I will, um, yeah, I think we'll just stick with five because it seems to be working at five o'clock. Seven o'clock, everyone in the world is online and I'm just like, keep me away from it. Um, so yeah, I will do nighttime routine tomorrow. We'll chat about the kits on Thursday and I'll probably just go through... Um, all of the info that you need as opposed to what's in it so that you know where you stand depending on which kit you go for and where you live okay um but i have lots of notes to make um and i'm waiting for my lovely big mirror to arrive that i've ordered i have a big mirror so i showed you this ricky mirror um last week and i have a massive one in the audience that I, in the audience i'm just reading your comments i have a massive one in the office that i use for filming but it's too big to get back here and i don't want to bring it back and forth so i've ordered a new one for here um, and it's supposed to be coming today, but it's not here yet. And it needs to be here for tomorrow because I have to film and I don't want to be like, um, is each kit, is each bag for each kit a different colour? We have three quarters available in one colour and 25% in another colour. Uh, if she has US and UK citizenship, surely we could have her as PM and president. I, I can't be president because I wasn't born in the USA, um, as much as I would like it. Trust me, I would like it. Um, yes, you can have prices on Thursday. Yes. Um, can we do a 50 plus morning and evening routine soon? That's me, babe. <laughs> Tune in tomorrow night. That's what I am. Um, do we keep you from doing your routine at this time? No, I've done my routine. I've done my nighttime stuff. Because if I'm not going out again, and if I've been in most of the day, I usually just do my nighttime routine as early as I can. Um... But yes, okay, we shall, I'll check you in tomorrow. Yeah, those, the Reiki mirrors and the Glam Core. The Glam Core is a slightly bigger grown-up one. They are amazing mirrors. Watch this light, it's going to go too bright, but you can turn it up. 
No, you can't even see me because it's so bright. <laughs> and you can turn it down. And you can get your light to the way you want it. And you can go online with it at the same time. And anyway, I like it a lot. Um, I will see you tomorrow night. Um, this will go up, although I don't, it's just jabberish, but it'll go up on YouTube. We'll just try and keep it all so that you get to see it. Um, I always save the lives and I always put them up on the blog. So you, and they always go onto YouTube. So you'll be fine. The kits are shipped from London. Um, next meet and greet. Who knows, mate? The minute I get out of this house, I'm going to hold a meet and greet with everyone in the co-op, <laughs> like my local people, because I just have to be out. So um, I think the demand is crazy, but it's um, do I do my nighttime routine even before eating dinner? Oh, yeah. Minute I'm in the door. Minute I'm in the door. Um, do I think the Wiki Mirror is the best? Well, it's the one I use. I love it. And I've ordered the big one. I've got the big one coming as well. Um, yeah, if you're coming from work, like while you're at home, it's different. You know, if you, if your skin is fine, you don't need to, you don't really need to, sometimes you don't need to wash your face again at the end of the day, but you know yourself best. If you've been cooking or gardening or you have been out in the sun and you are wearing your SPF, then yes, of course you wash your face at night. Um, but if I, if I get up late and I'm indoors all day and I only put a basic moisturiser on, when I've been really tired over the last few weeks, the odd night I have just gone, oh, I'm just going to put my retinoid on. <laughs> Don't read too much into it, like very rarely, but I'm just saying if you're knackered, do what you can. Uh, is kit going to ship to the UK? Of course, we're in the UK. Uh, yes, there is a demand for the kits, but we've made loads. We've made way more than last time. OK, can I do an overpriced products video? Well, I don't like to point things out, but I can certainly do a video where you can just ask me questions and I can answer yay or nay because I'm entitled to my opinion legally. Um, I don't need any more legal letters. Thanks very much. Um, is there a little hint this evening? Yeah, if I ever get offline. Do a Christmas and Kitmas. <laughs> yeah, good idea. Um, so I will be keeping you posted and then I'll give you a go live time on Thursday for Friday for the kids okay oh lovely um morning routine so I do it before or after the shower after shower wash my face um oh there's so many new ones uh, there's no surprise envelopes this time in the kits because I cannot go to the warehouse um and a lot of PRs and brands that shipped those out last time don't uh, don't have people in the office so there's no surprise envelopes in the kits, but trust me when I tell you the bargain you're getting will more than make up for it. Alrighty then. Um, there will be, I'm sure there will be enough for demand. Please don't stress. I mean, don't get me wrong. I want the kits to sell out, but they're not going to sell out in minutes. Okay. It's not going to happen. Um, we, you know, unless Chrissy Teigen and Victoria Beckham go online at the same time and go, go and buy Caroline's kit. I think we're good. Don't stress. Um, I will let you know the times and everything on Thursday nights, live at five. Maybe I should be a news reader. Oh, do you know what I would like to do? I could do, I could do either question time or like news night. Get me on news night because I honestly, uh, the HRT is going well because I'm not in jail. So make of that what you will. Because uh, I would be going, yeah, that's not why I asked you though. I'm just putting away my Martha stick. Um, that's not why I asked you. That's not why I asked you, is it? Can you answer what I asked you? And when they try and divert, and let me be perfectly clear, I'd be like, but you're not being clear, are you, though, Brian? You're not being clear. Um, I will see you tomorrow night. Have a lovely evening. Um, that's it, I think, isn't it? I think that's it. I hope you enjoyed my mini nail thing. Um, I will see you tomorrow night for an evening routine. And then at some point, if I get myself together, maybe... Maybe, well, it depends how together we are. If we're together, I could do a morning routine on Friday, but only if I'm like, everything's ready. Yes, everything's shipping worldwide. Uh, but there is a big um, no list. Only because of COVID, not because of me. Um, no, I'm, I would be much nicer than Piers Morgan. Or Piers Dorgan, as I call him. He's also one of three people that have blocked me on Twitter. Piers Dorgan has blocked me. Alison Pearson has blocked me, which I see as a badge of honour. And Naomi Campbell blocked me. <laughs> I just mentioned something about throwing a phone at her assistant's head and she blocked me. It's not my fault, bruv. Uh, see you tomorrow, guys. Have a lovely evening.